morning everyone and welcome back to my channel first of all I'm sorry for the sound quality I forgot the cable of my wireless mic which connect the you know the transmitter or the receiver with the camera I forget it at home so now I'm using the built-in uh, mic and that's why I'm sorry if the sound quality is not so perfect so as you can see it's early in the morning and I'm I'm, I'm hoping to have a colorful sunrise but I started to lose hope because as you can see there's a little bit of clouds blocking the sun I still have something like 20 minutes to sunrise but the, 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 the clouds the low clouds are blocking the sunrise uh, I, I checked actually I checked yesterday the weather forecast and they were writing that there's no low cloud, there will be only high clouds. And I, I'm see exactly the opposite. As you can see, there's no high clouds and there's only low clouds. And I like to have only high clouds in, you know, in sunrise photos because they catch the, the glowing sun, they catch the color of the sun and you will have very beautiful color in the sky, in the, in the clouds. But like this, when the low clouds are blocking the sun, I'm not sure if I will have, you know, a big sunrise photo. So, let's try. So, as you can see, this is the first composition that I'm trying to take right here. I think I'm going to try it before sunrise. I still have something like 15 minutes for sunrise. But as I said, unfortunately, as you can see right here, the low clouds, I don't think I will have any sunrise today. Maybe a little bit of color, but I will try to take this composition without sunrise or before sunrise in the, let's say, the end of the blue hour. And the composition is so easy actually, as you can see, I, I like this sand here, this foreground. Uh, I like obviously this one. I came here actually for this one because I, I was here uh, something like three or four years ago. But I didn't try to take a photo like this. I, I was standing there on, the, on this, I don't know how to call it, I was standing on it. And I took a photo, but I want more to, to have more in the composition to, to have you know a little bit of story you know to have the sand here in the foreground and to have all of it in the foreground and not like last photo the last photo I tried here I don't like it actually and it, it didn't work so let's try to take this photo and I will show you the result. So in this light situation, the camera was telling me that one third of the second will be right exposure. And, but I don't know how uh, long the exposure will be with using the 10 stop MD filter. That's why I'm using the LEE stopper. I, I talked, I think I talked about this program once. And I gave this program that I'm using 10 stop MD filter. And the exposure is one third, as you can see. And after that, the... Uh, program gives me that it will be five minutes but I am not going to make a photo five minutes because as you know with sunrise or during the sunrise the light is going to be stronger and stronger and that's why taking photo five minutes I think I will be I will have overexposed photo so that's why I will take three minutes photo instead of five minutes let's try As I told you, as you can see, the sun started to rise, but unfortunately, the clouds are blocking the sun, that's why I will have a little bit of color in the sky, but I, I will not have the sun in the composition or in the frame, as I was hoping for.
the last photo that I'm having right here, only one minute shutter speed. Because as I said, the sun started to rise and the, the light situation is completely different. As you can see, something like 20 minutes, it was telling me that five minutes shutter speed will be right, but I tried to take three minutes and it's still a little bit overexposed. The second photo, as you can see right here, the sky is overexposed and that's why I tried also to take only one minute shutter speed. And this one, the, the, the exposure is correct. I don't have any uh, overexposed area in the, in the sky. The last two photos, actually, I removed the CBL filter because for me, maybe some of you won't uh, agree with me, but for me, I feel long exposure photos when there's, you know, water, I think it will be more beautiful without using CBL filter because I want the reflections of the water. I want the water to reflect the color of the sky. I don't want, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I, I adore, I adore the, the CBL filter in, for example, in, in woodland photography or any, you know, type of photography when there's a lot of green color you know, wood, woodland um, and something like that. But, but in long exposure photography, seascape, I feel, I feel it's more, more, you know, re realistic, more beautiful without using CBA filter. Because as I said, I want the color to catch, uh, not the color, I want the water to catch the color of the sky. I want it to reflect the color of the sky. And I, I don't want to remove this, this reflection, this beautiful, color reflection. So this is another photo I tried to take with 50 seconds and I still have overexposed area in the sky actually not in the water in the sky. So that's why what comes even in this set is a graduated ND filter and that's why I will try to, to I will try to try it right now. I will try to use it because as I said the overexposed areas only in the sky and not in the water. That's why I, I will try to use I think 30 seconds something like that with the graduated ND filter. So this is the graduated ND filter 0.9. I will use the back screen of my camera to see exactly where I am applying, as I said, where I am applying the graduated ND filter. Because I, I don't want it, I don't want to touch the water. I only want to apply it for the sky. I think something like that would be good. And now I will put again the ND filter. So let's talk a little bit about this set, this square filter from the K&F concept. Actually, as I think, this is the most professional way of using um, filters, ND filter or CBA filter, because you have a very big filter, as you can see, and you can use it on any lens you have. For example, the CBL filter that I'm having here is 95 millimeter, which is brilliant for any lens you have. As you can see, filter here so easily and you can adjust it from here at the same time you still have the ability to use two filters so that's why I think this is the most professional way of using filters in landscape photography that's why as I said for me I think this is the most important thing in using ND filter or CBA filter that you have the filter size is so big regardless of which lens you want to buy you will not be worrying about this lens is for example the, the lens filter the, the lens filter size is bigger than the ND filter or the CBL filter that you have that means you still have to buy a lens and a new filter set and this is so expensive obviously if you if the lens is smaller than the filter set you don't have any problem you all you want to use is a adapter a step up adapter but if the filter is smaller than your lens you can't use this filter and you have to buy a new filter set if you want to use cbl filter or nd filter on your new lens which is bigger than the cbl filter or nd filter that you have and this is a very big advantage for me that you have only one set and goes with 
any lens you have. So this is another composition I'm trying right here. And I went down this time. I wanted to have more foreground from this sound and I want to be more close to the foreground. So as you can see in this photo here I I make I made actually focus that only one photo I was focusing to the infinity to the end of the lake and the second photo I was focusing right here just to have you know the sand and this foreground here the beginning to have them more you know, more sharp in the photo. So I went back to the car, it started to be a little bit too windy and I was uh, afraid that you won't be able to hear what I want to say at the end. So at the end, let's sum up everything that I said. This set is professional, using this set is the most professional way of using CBA filter or, or ND filter. The reason, as I said, the CBA filter and ND filter are, are so big and goes with any lens you have. You will not be uh, afraid about having a huge uh, lens, for example, or the size of the filter of the lens will not, you, you will not ask anymore about the size of the filter of your lens because you have a big CBA filter goes with any lens. But at the same time, the downside that it is so huge, as you can see, and it will take more time than using, for example, circular polarizer. You put the polarizer on your lens and you are ready. For example, my, uh, my K&F concept magnetic CBL filter and ND filter, they are so fast in using. This one is more professional, but you need more time in using this one. You have to put the uh, filter uh, holder, the adapter, after that the filter holder, after that the CBA filter, and you have to put the ND filter. That needs more time, but the result is more professional and yeah. So at the end, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I could make it helpful for you. I hope you like the video and you like the photo that I took today. And thanks a lot K and F Concept for sending me this set. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please consider subscribing if you are not already. And see you in the next video. Bye for now.